In the last video, we looked at how a CT behaves under symmetrical fault conditions. But most real-world faults currents are asymmetrical, especially in the first few cycles. That's because, during transient conditions, the fault current consists of two parts. Symmetrical AC short-circuit current and a DC offset superimposed on it. For protection relays to operate properly during faults, the CT output under asymmetrical fault conditions must be reliable. So in this video, we will focus on how a CT behaves under asymmetrical fault current. Before we dive deeper, let's first understand what is DC offset. DC offset occurs when a fault happens at a point other than the voltage peak. For example, exactly at the voltage zero crossing, especially when the network impedance is mainly inductive. This causes the current waveform to shift upward or downward, resulting in asymmetrical fault current. You might see broad, tall positive half cycles, and short, shallow negative half cycles, or the reverse. This shift is called DC offset. It decays gradually with time, depending on the system's X by R ratio. Now let's walk through the first few cycles and see what happens inside the CT during those early moments. During the first positive half cycle, from point 1 to point 2, the current is positive, and the dipoles in the core begin lining up in the positive direction. The flux is changing, so the CT works as expected, the secondary current follows the primary current, scaled by the CT ratio. Then comes the first negative half cycle, from point 2 to point 3. The current goes negative. But because of the DC offset, the negative half cycle is short and not very strong. Only a few dipoles manage to reverse before the current turns positive again. The flux is changing, so the CT works as expected, the secondary current follows the primary current, scaled by the CT ratio. In the second positive half cycle, the current continues aligning dipoles in the positive direction. But this time, before the half cycle ends, say around point 0.4, all the dipoles become fully aligned. The core hits its magnetic limit. The CT saturates. Now the magnetic flux cannot change further, and the secondary current drops sharply. This is called asymmetrical saturation. It's not just the fault current magnitude that causes it, the DC offset plays a key role, especially during the first few cycles. For protection relays, this matters a lot. They rely on the CT's output during transient conditions to operate correctly. Let's quickly compare symmetrical and asymmetrical saturation. Symmetrical saturation happens right away, usually in the first half cycle, and it's caused just by high fault current. Asymmetrical saturation is different. It happens because of DC offset in the current. Depending on the fault current, DC offset, and the system's X by R ratio, the CT might saturate immediately or after a few cycles. Saturate in one direction only or in both directions. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If this helped you, like and subscribe to WhatsApp with Power, and see you in the next video.